you can set up your MacBook to use your smart board or projector as a second monitor. The first thing we want to do is consider what materials we want to share on the smart board and on Zoom with our students and what materials we want to keep available for us on our desktop. So I have a Chrome window open here and I'm going to pull out the two tabs that I want to share with my class. So I just click on one of the tabs and drag it out of that window and I can just drop it here. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the second one and bring it over to the window that I already have open. So now I have a Google Chrome window that has all of my materials on it and a Google Chrome window for the class. Once I've got my materials split up like this, I'm now ready to plug in my projector or smart board. Before I do that, I want to make sure my computer is up and running. If you just come into a classroom with your laptop closed and you plug in your smart board and then get started, you might find that it won't connect and you might even have to restart your computer before you can connect to the smart board. So I'm up and running, everything's good. I've got my dongle here and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Now that my smart board is connected, you'll notice I lost some screen real estate on my laptop screen um, and my smart board is mirroring exactly what is on my screen here. To change this behavior, I'm gonna to go to the Apple menu and go to System Preferences. From here, I'm gonna find Displays and I'm gonna switch over to the Arrangement tab. In the middle here, it's showing me what my displays are doing. They're mirroring, they're right on top of each other. To turn off mirroring, I just uncheck this box and now my smart board is a clean desktop that I can put open windows on. Back here in display settings on my laptop screen, I'll see my laptop monitor is here. And if I click on it, it lights up with a red border. And my smart board monitor is here. And that lights up with a red border on the screen there. I can click and drag the smart board to virtually position it anywhere in relationship to my laptop screen. I like to put it up top. Um, by default, it's to the right. <clears throat> um, but by having it up top, for me, it's like I'm putting things up on the board, so it's easy for me to remember that my smart board is up top. So once I've done that, um, I can now navigate between the two screens simply by taking my cursor and moving it to the top of the screen. You'll notice my mouse arrow is now up on the uh, smart board. And to come back, I just go down to the bottom of the screen until my mouse appears down here. Um, the last thing I wanna do in my display settings is just check off this show mirroring options button at the bottom. Um, this is gonna let me switch between the two settings easily with this little menu bar icon. And I'm done here so I can go ahead and close the built-in display box here. And now I can take my materials for class and move them to the second desktop. So I'll just click and drag and bring it up to the top of the screen. You'll notice on my laptop screen it becomes translucent and it starts to appear on the smart board. Once I'm up on the smart board, I can go ahead and drop it, and it should appear on that screen now. From there, I can come up and maximize that material, and it'll be ready to present to class. I can share just that screen in Zoom. So I come here to share screen, and I'm gonna click on desktop two. You'll notice now there's a green outline on the smart board, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit share. And now in my Zoom, anything that's on the smart board is shared with students remotely. Um, students in class can obviously see it all because it's up on the smart board. Uh, the next thing I want to do is you notice the controls show up at the top of the smart board screen. So I just want to grab those and pull them down to my uh, laptop screen. So now I've just got those down here. They're out of the way. Um, students can't see it or worry about it. And I have full control over my Zoom from my, my laptop screen. Go ahead, continue screen sharing. I can pull up participants. I can go into the chat. I can do whatever I need to do on my laptop screen without distracting the class. If you have one of the older smart boards, it works great in the mirroring mode and you can annotate directly on the screen with your pens and it'll show up in Zoom as well. If you have one of the newer Epson Brightlink uh, projectors, those don't like to work as a second display. Uh, you need to mirror and you need to make sure you're using the PC link functionality. If you want help setting that up because you really like to use those smart pens, I can help you. Um, otherwise, it'll work fine as a second monitor as long as you're not trying to use the interactive features. Uh, I hope this helps and good luck in hybrid.